DJ Drogba gets a lot of credit for the impact's turnaround this season, scoring 11 goals in 11 games since joining the team. But coach Mauro Biello deserves a little credit also. He took over a team that was in disarray after Frank Klopas was fired with an 8-11-4 record and went 7-2-2 two two since then. He spoke a little bit about the turnaround with the team. You're always in preparation mode. You're always thinking, you know, uh, what to improve, uh, what message messages I got to send. And training, there's there's so much to do uh, because of the the time constraint. The games one after the other. Uh, you know, it's been a learning curve for me also, and and what I could do and what I could improve and what works, what doesn't work. So uh, in the end, uh, you know, I try to focus on on you know what's in front of me. What uh, how I could prepare the, the team the best possible to be ready to, to perform. The impact came out slow in their game on Sunday against Toronto FC at Saputo Stadium. We're trailing one nothing. Biello did a speech at halftime and one of the players said the wall shook. The coach said he threw in a little English, French, Italian and even some Spanish to get his players motivated and it definitely worked. Uh, it was a mix of everything. Everything, <laughs> everything had to come out. So, uh, French and Italian. Yeah, French. I think there was even some Spanish in there. <laughs> but in the end, uh, look, uh, it's I'm just doing my job. It's not, uh, it, you know, I gotta deliver a message the way I feel that could uh, help them, and uh, that's that's what it is basically. Patrice Bernier, the Impact's longtime captain from Brossard, was brought into the game late on Sunday and received a nice ovation from the Montreal fans. He spoke a little bit about what that meant to him. It's just nice. It's heartfelt. It's nice. It's nice to get that push because when you come on the field, it's not easy. But to know that you, you have that support behind you, uh, the support for the club and from, uh, from the fan base, allows me to believe that, uh, that you know I still got a lot to give and, uh, and I still want to pay back to the people that give me that support. Bernie also spoke a little bit about what changes have happened within the club since Briello took over as coach. He's been uh, guiding, he's been communicating, communicating very uh, truthful with every player. Everybody got a shot and, uh, and uh, at the end it's just to maintain. When you're high, it's not to get too high. When you're low, it's, it's not the end of the world.